Uh, yeah, most people we went to like UK StarCraft LAN events were good friends. So a lot of the time you went there to like go with friends, I guess, as well as playing to win. So what's the vibe? How's the vibe different at LAN events compared to just playing online? Well, I guess you actually just get to see the people you're playing against. So it's different than, I don't know, online it's just like some name. Whereas in LAN it's someone in person. You could go behind them, watch them play. You could, I guess like having a scene like that helps me want to be more competitive because it was like so fun going to LAN events and like socializing with UK StarCraft people where it like pushed me to be competitive and kept me playing the game. I guess if you specialize in one hero, you usually have a playstyle which is more readable, but if you're playing a bunch of heroes, it's way harder to know how the person's going to play. So I guess that's the only downside. Uh, I think Zen's one of the harder heroes because you need to play a lot around your team and have good positioning and aim, and you need to be thinking about so much more than, let's say, a Tracer. But some heroes, like I guess Tracer, probably you can clutch more, so it's harder. But then you need to think a lot. Uh, I feel Snilla is a way more defensive tracer. He'll go for the jewels against other tracers a lot more, whereas Carpe would go for their backline because he knows he can kill them. So it's like, it makes me as a Zen safer because he's dealing with a tracer sometimes, and that helps a lot. Okay. So do you prefer one over the other? Well, I mean, the one where I don't die, I prefer. <laughs> That's usually good. No? I'm a very good cook, you know, nothing's ever gone wrong, it's all staged, all fake, and that's all everyone needs to know. So when I come across pictures of you guys microwaving butter, stuff like that. Yeah, it's staged, like, who would microwave butter not on a plate, you know, who would make that mistake? I've had a lot of friends who are terrible at cooking, I don't know if you're just trolling or not. <laughs> Oh okay. my I, I may have like microwaved it for about 10 seconds and thought it wouldn't like melt and would just go like slightly softer but it, when I looked back it was completely um, molten. <laughs> who would do such a thing, yeah, right? who would ever? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's nice because before we would like order food or have to cook something and you'd have to wait so you're like waiting hours for food to arrive or like not knowing when you're gonna have food or what is, whereas with Chef Heidi, it like brings structure to our like food, which is like good to have structure when you're practicing, and it's really nice food too. Is there like a specialty she makes that you're really into? Um, I think she's made some of the nicest burgers and burritos I've ever had. Like she did like Juicy Lucy or something. I, it's like it has cheese in the middle of a burger, and that was like the nicest burger I've had in America so far. And then also her like burritos are really nice. For more Overwatch interviews and analysis, subscribe to our channel. You can also find stats, discussions, and more on our website and mobile app at blitzesports.com.